Hi, St. Timothy, Father Patrick here with your announcements. Join us for Stations of the Cross every Friday during Lent at 7 p.m. The next Stations of the Cross will be led by the Free to Be Women's Group. And join our music ministry and music minister, Bob DiCarlo, on Wednesday, March 13th at 7 p.m. for our Lenten Teze Prayer, a meditative candlelit service that quiets the mind, opens the heart, and feeds the soul. If you are interested in becoming a Catholic or receiving your other sacraments, please contact our Director of Adult Evangelization and Faith Formation, Matt Zemanek. Join us for Catholicism 101 every Sunday in the hall at 10, 15 a.m. as we explore the teachings and traditions of the Catholic faith. This Sunday's topic is the Fifth and Eighth Commandments. We hope to see you there. The Knights of Columbus will begin their Easter lilies sale after all masses next weekend. All lilies are $15 each and have been blessed by yours truly. <laughs> this weekend, after all masses, we will have anointing of the sick for all those who wish to receive, please join us after all masses. And lastly, this weekend, I'll be speaking briefly at all masses about the pastoral services appeal. But before you hear me speak at the homily, take a look at our video. Dear friends of the Lord, I am Bishop Kevin Van from the Diocese of Orange and I have with me this afternoon, Gracie. I've had her for about 11 years. In Psalm 147, we are reminded of the greatness and the compassion of God. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. These words resonate deeply with the mission of our diocese to be instruments of God's healing love and power in the world and inviting all nations to become disciples of the Lord. In our community, there are individuals and families facing challenges that may seem insurmountable. They are sad, brokenhearted, the wounded, the lonely, and the vulnerable. As stewards of God's blessings, it is our calling and our vocation to reach out to them, just as our Lord reaches out to us in our time of need. One of the ways in which we can reach out to the brokenhearted, those who are around us, is through the Pastoral Services Appeal, or PSA as we call it. Hello, I'm Ellen Roy and I'm the Executive Director of Catholic Charities of Orange County. Catholic Charities of Orange County has been serving the Diocese of Orange since 1976. We have provided services in the areas of our Cantley Food Pantry, our counseling services, our school counseling services, and our immigration services. As of our last fiscal year, we have served a total of 680,694 households and individuals. In our Cantley Food Distribution Center, 548,681 individuals received food from us. We helped 3,641 individuals move one step closer to gaining their citizenship in the United States. Your help in donating and contributing to the PSA not only helps your local parish and the Diocese of Orange, but it also enables Catholic Charities of Orange County who depend on the support of the PSA to continue our work serving the community and doing the work of Christ in your local communities. I invite you to join me, Bishop Fryer and Bishop Nguyen, in joyfully and generously responding to the 2024 Pastoral Services Appeal. Along with healing the brokenhearted through Catholic charities, your gift to the PSA will support dozens and dozens of ministries throughout our diocese, including supporting our vocations office as they guide the young men and women to hear the call to consecrated life through their discernment of their calling to serve from God. Secondly, provide retirement support of our retired priests as they continue to serve our faith community. Number three, help to make Catholic education accessible and affordable to all youth within our diocese. We can be the hands and the feet of Christ, bringing healing and hope to those who need it most. Thank you from my heart for your generosity and your goodness to so many who come your way, whom the Lord sends your way. 